Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017 DILR slot 2 says that there were 7 elective courses running in a specific term in a college. Each of the 300 students enrolled had chosen just one elective among these 7. However, before the start of the term, E7 was withdrawn and the instructor concerned had left the college. The students who had opted for E7 were allowed to join any of the remaining electives. Also, the students who had chosen other electives were given one chance to change their choice. The table below captures the movement of the students from one elective to another during this process. Movement from one elective to the same elective simply means no movement. So, for example, E1, E1, it means that nine students did not change their elective. So, so, this diagonal represents the number of students who did not change their electives. So, let's say 30 students were in E5, they are still in E5. Okay. Now, uh, we are given that uh, some numbers are missing from this. Some numbers from the table got accidentally erased. However, it is known that these numbers are either 0 or 1. So, the missing values are only 0 or 1. So, that makes this case, this set simple as it initially appeared to be difficult but this information says that it is not that difficult now we have 300 students and uh, this is given that uh, they were shifted from seven to six courses and we are given some more information as facts it says before the change process there were six more students in e1 than in e4 so let us first do one thing that for whichever row or column the entire data is given let us add that out so this is 14, 24, 25 plus 6, 31. This is 20, 50, 60 and 41, 101. Now uh, we can add this second uh, column also 39, 45, 50, 60, 76. Right? So these are the numbers we can add because we have complete data about it. Now we are given that before the change, there were 6 more students in E1 than E4. So, if there are 31 students here, in E4 there must have been 25 students. But after the reshuffle, the number of students in E4 was 3 more than E1. So, let us say E1 had X students, E4 will have X plus 3 students. The number of students in E2 increased by 30. So, we know the final number. So, initial number would be 46. Before the change process, E4 had 2 more students than E6. So, E4 had 25. So, E6 had 23 students here. While E2 had 10 more students than E3. So, E2 had 36, 46. So, E3 will have 36. So, we can use all this information. Then, this is the information given to us and rest we need to find out logically from the table. Now we are given that initially there were total 300 students. So we can add these values to find out what is missing. So we have uh, 77, 102, 203, 239, 262. So this is 38 value here. Okay. Now next uh, we can fill this is because afterwards we are not given any of the numbers. We will have to apply some logic here. Let's see this. 34 plus 8 is 42 plus 4 is 46. So this 46 is already complete. So the values here will be 0 and 0. Now if you look at this uh, row, so it has 6, 8, 8 plus 27 is 35. 35 is there. We need one more. So that means one of these values will be 1. Next we have is uh, 25, 5, then 5 plus 18, 23. So we need two more. So the only possible way is 1 and 1. Okay, so this is also done. Then we have 35 and 38. This is 35. Three more values need to be put. We will see how it will be put. 23, this is 10. 10 plus 11, 21. We need two more. So we have 1 and 1 here that makes it 23. So this is also done. So we need to fill the values of this and this two electives and now we will look at the vertical data also because we are given one condition about electives E1 and E4. So putting that condition in mind, 
if you add these, this is 9 plus 2, 11, 13 plus 4. So it is 17, more than 17. I mean, it can be 17 or 18. Okay. And if we add this, this total is 1 plus 15, uh, 1 plus 14 is 15, 16, 21. This is already 21. Now, this can be 0 or 1. That would make it 17 or 18. Now, we know that the difference is 3. So, it cannot be at 17. We have to make it 18. So, in order to make it 18, we need to put 1. That makes it 18. And this will be 21. Now, if it is 21, the remaining two values are 0. Okay, now we can fill the rest of the table. Now, we have one number missing here. 0 is here. So, we will have 1 here and it is done. 38. So, we have 6, 36. We need to add two numbers here. So, 1 and 1 will make it 38. Now, we can just uh, verify before we add the columns. This is 14, 24, 24, 6, 30, 31. Done. Then we have 42, 42 plus 4, 46, 8, 33, 35, 36, 6, 20, 25. And then we have 6, 7 plus 31, 38, 8, 11, 11 plus uh, 12 is 23. And this is 101. Now we have added the electives. Now we will find the column wise sum also because there are some questions on column wise sum also that how many uh, you need to arrange them in ascending order or so. So this is 18. 18 plus 27 is 45. 45 plus 4, 49. 79. 6, 8, 38 plus 7, 45. And finally we have 6, 10, 11, 11 plus 20. Uh, 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 6, 10, 11, 11 plus 50 is 61. That should also add to 100. So, this is 100, 106 and 94. So, that is 300. So, this is how we get the final totals. This is complete table. It was not that difficult to fill because of this condition 0 or 1. Had it been different numbers, then it would have been challenging. How many elective courses among E1 to E6 had a decrease in their enrollment? So, how many had decrease in enrollment? Uh, E1 had a decrease in enrollment. Okay, then E2 did not have E3 increased. E4 also decreased. And then E5 and E6 both increased. So, there are two such electives that had decrease in their enrollments. After the change process, which of the following is the correct sequence of the number of students in the six electives E1 to E6? So, correct sequence is 18, 76, 79. Okay, so we can rule out these options. Then we have 21, 45 and 61. After the change process, which course among E1 to E6 had the highest change in its enrollment as a percentage of an, uh, original enrollment? So, E1... Initially, there were 31 and the change is of 13. Okay. E2, there were 46 and 76. So, change of 30 with respect to 46. E3, there were 36 and now the number has become 79. So, change is 43 by 36. E4, the uh, sorry, E6, that number was 23 and now it has become 61. So, change is 31 by 23. So, highest, clearly the highest is this. Because it is from 120%, this would be 100 and more than 150%. Clearly the outlier. Later, the college imposed a condition that if after the change of electives, the enrollment in any elective other than E7 dropped to less than 20 students, all the students who had left that course would be re required to enroll in the re enroll in that elective. Which of the following is a correct sequence of electives in decreasing order? Okay, after this change. Now, there is only one elective in which the number of students has gone below 20, that is E1. Now, what will happen is these students who had gone to other electives will return to elective E1. Okay, so now if we see the number, the number will increase to uh, E1 in E1. So, it becomes uh, 15, uh, 5, 15, 16, 16 plus 6. 
okay so uh, 22 students will come here now the number becomes 40 okay now we will see that how much will decrease so five students will go away the number will be 71 10 students will go away so 69 okay one student will go away 20 four students go away 41 and two students go away 59 okay so these will be the numbers after the rearrangement okay so all these the students who had joined other electives will return to elective one so the numbers will change here so we need to find the decreasing order of the final environment so final environment highest is e2 okay e2 followed by e3 so let's look for the option e2 followed by e3 these are the two options then we have uh, e6 at the third number so this is the order so e2 then e3 then e6 then e5 e1 and finally e4 